We talked about vowels where the airway, the passageways, the spaces inside the mouth and the nose were not totally blocked to the movement of the air. And now we're going to start seeing sounds where what we call the articulatory organs start restricting or blocking the vocal tract. You'll see on these diagrams little question marks in green circles. Those are the places to look at determining questions to ask. What are the vocal cords doing? Where is the velum? Is it open, closed or partial? What are the lips doing? What is the tongue doing? So here we have M. The M as in mum. Mm. And we did a little test earlier, didn't we? Pinch your nose. Mm. And the noise stops. So here the lips are closed and the air is passing through the nose. And you saw my little blue circles here now uh, showing the sound is resonating and coming out through the nose. Strictly speaking this space here in the mouth is also resonating. If you do an M mm, you'll feel your lips tingling. There's quite clearly resonance going on inside the mouth. So that is mmm. A nasal consonant. The test for a nasal is you close your nose and the sound stops. I just want to stress here that I'm talking about English nasal consonants. There are nasals where pinching your nose won't stop the sound. These are nasal vowels. They exist in French. For example, in the phrase un bon vin blanc. Here is another nasal. So let's ask the questions. What are the vocal cords doing? The vocal cords are coming close together. And where is the velum? The velum is well and truly open. Have we got any tongue action here? The lips are open. The tongue, notice, is touching what's called the alveolar ridge. Behind the front teeth, say an N. Put your fingers on your nose and pinch. Okay, completely stops the sound. So even though your lips are open, the air is still going through the nose. There will still be resonance here, a linking of the resonance between the nasal cavity and the buccal cavity, the mouth. Mm, but it's different, it has a different formant as we call. Remember these blue circles represent the sound waves and they're being bounced around and there's resonance. Okay, that's N as in None. Let's look at another sound now. Let's ask ourselves the questions. What are the vocal cords doing? Well, they're close together. Sound is being produced as the air comes out. And here, the velum is well and truly down and open opening through to the nasal cavity. What is the tongue up to? Well, the tongue is right up against the velum. Say the word sing and hold the mm. This is this sound. So it's closing off the mouth. Again, do the test. Pinch your nose. Sing. Sound stops. Quite clearly a nasal consonant. The lips are open, but there's still no air coming through the mouth. 
Right, so those are the three nasal consonants in the English language. Let's look at some more sounds.